How is it possible to be with God 24 seven and super busy with work or anything else at the same time? If you wanna know exactly how to do this, that's coming up. Welcome back to the channel. How was y'all's day? I wish I could hear you respond to me. But before we begin, I wanna give you some awesome news. You, yeah you, that's watching this video. You have a chance to be in a video. All you gotta do is DM me on Instagram or just send me an email saying you're interested and I'll personally email you or message you back giving you all the information you need. It's a project God has wanted me to make for a few months now and it's, I've been in the progress of making it and you guys have the ability to be in it. So go ahead and message me on any of those two platforms after this video or go ahead and pause this video and do it right now. But you came on how to multitask with God and work in worldly stuff. Well, honestly, it's not multitasking at all. Your mind is at work with your job or whatever you're doing and your spirit's at work with God. Two separate things are at work at the exact same time. They're not connected, so you're able to do both. People say it's hard to do both because you can't do both. What makes it difficult for people is they're thinking of God. You're trying to think of God while thinking at work. So then your mind can think of one thing at a time, or else if you focus on one of them, if you focus on work, you'll forget about one. If you focus on God, you'll forget what you're doing or you'll forget something because you got you can't do both with your brain. And there's nothing wrong with having him on your mind, just not just on the mind because that is not where he is. He's in your heart, that's where the love is. He's not up here, so all you're doing is pretty much remembering things of him. Imagine a Christian saying, I love God with all my brain. What? No, you love God with all your heart. And there's that, I love God with all my heart, my soul, my mind. The three things. And yeah, all three, not just the mind. You need to have the three. We don't pray with our mind, we pray with in our spirit to God with all our heart. He's not gonna be like a mind reader, even though he can know your thoughts. He's not a mind reader, that's not what he is looking for. He sees what's in your heart if it's genuine love and pure faith in it. He sees if you're active in the spirit and not just the mind. People do so much in their mind when that's a very small percentage of anything. Yeah, you renew your mind and stuff, boom, that's it. You don't have to live off your brain and your thoughts. You follow God with your heart and then your mind follows it. And I heard something on John G. Lake Ministries. I'll leave their link down below so you can check them out. When you're able to do work and pray to God in the spirit at the same time, that is one of the ways you know your love is real. And it's true because you love God with all your heart. And your mind is pretty much just thinking of memories and thinking of loving him rather than pursuing the love. How many people do you know that talk about the love of God but do not pursue it in their daily life? And they're actually the opposite of what they say to do. Either they're rude back when you don't listen to them, they're mean. These are religious people. The best way to put it is worldly religion. It's, not, it's nothing more but in the head, which is the problem of trying to do work and love him at the same time with your mind because you can't. You love him to love him of what he's done for you and that you're a new creation now. And you wanna be with him and you truly love him and not just love the thought of love. So separate the spirit and the mind because people get confused with them pretty easily. Now don't think thinking of God is wrong, but just that's not your main goal in life is to have those thoughts. But to have him in the corazón, which hopefully I said that right or else it'll really sound weird. I said heart, just say on that. But thank you so much for watching the entire video. I'm glad for you to be here. Like this video if it really did help you out and it lets me know that you got this information and you're gonna input it into your daily life. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe right now because I publish life-changing information every single week. And I actually don't have a like schedule. I, there'll be times where I publish today, tomorrow, the next day. Or there'll be days where I'll publish today, skip a day, and publish another video. So no matter what happens, you should get at least three videos of me a week. So go ahead and subscribe to get new information all the time. I'm going to give a quick shout out to Gavin. Once again, I gave him a shout out last time. Thank you for the shout out. Man, keep up the good work. Thank you, Gavin. And thank everybody else who likes my videos and watches them. Even if you do dislike my videos, still thank you for actually watching the video and still having your input. But before I end the video, do you have any pets and you're curious if they go to heaven or if they don't go to heaven? Well, there's a video about to pop up in just a little bit and it'll let you know yes or no if they go to heaven. So I'll let you go ahead and watch that when you can. So messenger out.